Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin in the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 12th of 2020. Well, it is titled Comet Atlas and Orion's Belt. So what do we see here? Well, this is a comet that is scheduled for its closest approach to Earth coming up in just a couple of days. And this image was taken uh, on November the 8th. And on November the 14th, Comet Atlas will pass at its closest to the Earth. However, it will not be all that close by comparison. It'll fly about what we call three light minutes from the Earth. And how does that compare? Well, the sun is a little over eight light minutes away. So it's about a third the distance between the Earth and the sun or about a third of an astronomical unit. So it's still going to be many tens of millions of miles away from the Earth even at its closest. And certainly it is not going to get as bright as Comet Neowise was earlier this year. However, it's still a chance to see a nice uh, comet with some binoculars. And here we see it off to the upper left hand side. You can see the greenish glow of the comet visible there. And we also see a number of other objects associated with Orion here. And in fact, towards the middle of the image, we see three bright stars. And those are the three bright stars in Orion's belt. And they are one thing that stands out and allow Orion to be relatively easily recognized by most people looking for constellations. So this is one of the more easily recognizable constellations in the sky. We also see a couple of other things within Orion and that includes the Orion Nebula towards the upper right hand side and the Horsehead Nebula down closer to the rightmost star on Orion's belt. Now if that looks a little bit uh, unusual for you that would be this would be upside down for what those in the northern hemisphere would normally see because we're seeing the belt there normally Orion Nebula it would be down below the belt here we're seeing it up above. So it's just a matter of inverting the image to get used to a little bit closer to what you would what you are used to be seeing at least for those of us in the northern hemisphere. So here it is a chance to see uh, coming up on November 14th Comet Atlas will be at its closest. Now if you remember we've had other comet atlases before comets are named by their discovery and a lot of discoveries now come through various different uh, satellite programs and other observing programs. And in fact this one is done by the asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system looking for objects coming very close to the Earth. So it gets its name from Atlas from that observing program, which is the one that actually detected it earlier this year. However, again, it is in no danger of being able to strike the Earth. It's going to be many tens of millions of miles away, even at its closest approach in a couple of days. So that was our picture of the day for November the 12th of 2020. It was titled Comet Atlas and Orion's Belt. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.